guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Olivia and I'm a cinematographer and video editor. And today I'm gonna explain white balance and color temperatures. White balance is a really important component to your photos and videos and making sure that they come out right. So let's get started. White balance is the setting that balances the color temperature of your image. It's the setting that tells your camera what color temperature the lights are in your scene so that it can present the colors accordingly. So you may have already noticed on your camera that there are a variety of white balance presets. These settings are basically preset Kelvin temperatures to help you set your white balance quickly. Auto white balance will actually adjust in real time based on your environment. So if you're in a situation where you are changing environments very quickly, then auto is likely the best setting for you. Kelvin white balance is the mode where you can manually adjust your white balance setting to whatever value you want. So it's basically manual mode for white balance. If you select this setting, you will see range options from roughly 2000 to 9000. Now here is where it can get a little tricky. The idea with Kelvin white balance is you wanna make your setting match the color temperature of the main light source of your scene. So for example, sunlight is a relatively blue light when it comes to how your camera interprets it. And this is actually something that confused me a lot when I was starting out, because when you picture the sun, you think of like an orange or yellow sun. So I would usually set my Kelvin temperature to a lower setting thinking, oh, okay, the sun is kind of orange or yellow. So I should set my Kelvin to match that, but that's not right. So actually in midday or mid afternoon, the sun actually presents blue as far as your camera interprets it. So this is why a Kelvin setting of about 5,500 to, to 6,000 is better for midday. And then as the day goes on and sunset happens, it becomes more orange. And so then you can adjust your Kelvin accordingly. Artificial lights that you purchase usually have a set color temperature as well, unless they're bicolor, which means you can adjust the color temperature. The light I'm using right now is a daylight only light, so the color temperature is 5600. So whenever I use this light, I set my camera's white balance to anywhere between 5000 to 5600, just depending on the situation. Some lights are tungsten based, which means that their Kelvin temperature is 3200. So if you use lights like that, you'll set your white balance to 3200. Now you may be asking, don't I already have presets for this in my camera? Like, why can't I just use the daylight preset or the tungsten preset and just be done with it? And you'd be right to ask that. And you're right, you can absolutely use those presets. But it's important to say that dialing in your color temperature through Kelvin is a more accurate way to make sure that your images look right. The examples I gave earlier are basically perfect scenarios. And unless you're working on a film set where they could control every little thing, you will likely find yourself in a mixed lighting situation. You may have sunlight coming through your windows while you're trying to use tungsten based lights, or you may have overhead lights that are more orange while you're trying to use daylight based lights. This is what we call a mixed lighting situation where you have multiple color temperatures happening at the same time. This is where dialing in your Kelvin gives you more control so that you can balance your color temperatures right from the beginning. And it's always best to capture it right from the start as opposed to trying to fix it in editing. Yes, you can do a lot in editing and you can correct some pretty poorly balanced images in editing, but it's always best to capture it right from the start. You could even take this a step further and do a custom white balance setting if you really want to be sure, but that's for another video. Your goal should be to match your Kelvin setting to the main light source of your scene. You can use the presets, but dialing it in manually gives you more control and it helps you to be more accurate. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe and follow me on all of my social channels. And I will catch you in the next video.